What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today I have yet another how-to video for you. Today we're going to be going over how to update the firmware on your iPolo V1 Mini. This will apply to all V-Series miners from iPolo. And the great news today, too, is that if you're interested in picking up an iPolo miner, you can on their Black Friday sale for a cheaper price. I do not have an affiliate code with them, nor am I sponsored by them, but I thought that you should get the opportunity opportunity to purchase cheaper miners if you are interested. Uh, we will also talk about what I'm mining with it and the profitability as a bonus. Let's get into it. Welcome back everyone. So first things first, let's go ahead and get you started with updating your firmware. First things is you're going to need to head on over to your actual miner page and log in. The default login is root and root. And to find the IP of your iPolo, if you forgot it, you can utilize an application called Advanced IP Scanner, and it is a free download. You can put in your IP addresses, click scan, and then you can see here we found the iPolo website. You can click the down arrow and then double click the HTTP link and it will bring you to the page for the iPolo. Once you're logged in, you can check your firmware version at the top left and you can see here we are version 0.124.145. To verify that you're on the latest firmware update, you can go over to the iPolo website at iPolo.com, click down on the support, click down on the firmware download, and then click the V-Series firmware for this particular unit. You can see we have various revisions and the latest one is version 124. 4.145, which in this particular case is what we are running, so we wouldn't need to update. However, I will go over this process with you so that you're aware. There is an SD card version, but we aren't utilizing an SD card. We're just going to upload the firmware via our browser. So we'll click the firmware button, and then at this point, we will click the download button on the work drive host, and then download the executable file, which is the 1.0 or 124.145-firmware.bin. At this point, it will ask you where to save it. We already have it saved in downloads. We'll click save and we'll go ahead and let it replace it. Once the download is complete, we're going to head back over to the iPolo itself and go down to under system and click firmware upgrade. We will then go ahead and click the flash image button and then click the browse button, go to our downloads folder and highlight like the new firmware and click open. At this point we can click upload and it will upload the file. Once complete, it will verify it and then ask you if you want to flash this file. Make sure you keep the checkbox for your settings and retain current configuration if you don't want to redo your mining pool setup. However, it doesn't maintain your password and login information. So if you have changed the password and you flash it, it will go back to the default login. At least in my case, that's what it did, which was root and root for the default in case you forgot. So you'll have to update your password again after flashing the firmware. At this point, you can go ahead and click the continue button and then it will give you a notice that it is saying flashing. The system is flashing now. Do not power off the device. Wait a few minutes until you try to reconnect connect, it might be necessary to renew the address of your computer to reach the device again, depending on your settings. Now to do this, of course, you can open a command prompt and you can do an IP config slash release and then you can do an IP config slash renew, and that will go ahead and refresh the IP on your system. I did not have to do this, but just in case you have that issue, you can do it there. Now, in a lot of cases, when you flash firmware, you do need to clear the cookies and the browse, not the full browser his history, but the cache on your browser to basically reconnect to the new firmware. And this is especially the case with Antminer firmware. So if you had this problem before this does work across everything if you're utilizing a chrome based browser or brave in this case you can click the three little dots at the top right of the browser go over your history and then you can click the clear browsing data button at this point you will have a little option that says cookies and other site data and cached images and files you will click the clear data for the last 
hour or however long it was when you did the flash of the firmware and click clear data. I did not have to do that with the iPolo, but I've had to do that in the past with a lot of different mining firmware updates. So I wanted to let you know that. Now you can go ahead and click the refresh button and it will start to refresh more than likely it will go to a cannot be reached but it will continue to refresh until it gets to this page once the miner has rebooted and you can see we have now rebooted and we can click the login button and we had the password saved there for root and root and then you want to just go up to the top and make sure that your firmware version is updated the next thing that you want to verify is your minor configuration and make sure that the pool as well as your wallet address are accurate and the coin that you want to mine whether it's an etc hash based coin or an et hash based coin in my particular case we are doing the et set C hash based Etica and you can see over here that I'm on the Etica mining pool I will be mining for at least 30 days to meet my thousand Etica goal before moving on to solo mining with something else so that is what I've been mining is it extremely profitable no but are these miners profitable if you're going to mine something profitable with it and the answer there of course is going to be yes but not by that much it's three cents a day so even if you get the current Black Friday deal of $409 on the iPolo V1 Mini, it may be a better purchase idea to get something like the latest KS0 Pro, which actually makes about $5 a day as opposed to $0.03 cents a day. But if you're looking at mining a bunch of ET hash kind of coins for speculative mining, this isn't a bad idea either. That's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below. Check out my crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com. It's more relevant than ever right now. And when everybody begins to purchase it in 2025, during the euphoria and the FOMO of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining, they will be too late. Also, don't forget you can support me over at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a supporter for $5 a month. And in return, I will provide my moves on what I am speculative mining, etc. before I provide them to the rest of the community. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.